Today the topic is on similar shapes and scale factor. We will be dealing with area and volume of similar shapes. The prior knowledge that you require here is that uh, the scale factor is usually denoted by the letter K. Now considering two lines, uh, let the length here be L1 and the length here which is again a similar line that means it's expanded to a longer dimension. So since they are similar lines, the ratio of the length L2 over L1 is given by K, which is called the scale factor, and it's also called the linear scale factor at times. Now when it comes to the area of similar shapes, considering the area of the smaller square to be A1, and the area of the larger to be A2, then in this case, A2 over A1, the ratio of the area of these similar shapes will be equal to K squared. And the third one is the relation when it comes to volume. Now we have two cubes which are similar. Considering the volume of the smaller one as V1, and the volume of the larger as V2, then we can say V2, the ratio of the volume, V2 over V1 is equal to K cube. This is the prior knowledge that you need. Let's move on to the question. Let me read the question. The diagram shows two mathematically similar solid metal prisms. The volume of the smaller prism is 648 cm3 and the volume of the larger prism is 2187 cm3. Calculate the area of cross section of the larger prism. Now starting with the data given, we have the volume of the smaller prism, so I'll write V1 is equal to 648. The volume of the larger prism, so V2 is 2187 centimeter cube. Now you can see both the units are centimeter cube. Now the area of cross section of the smaller prism is 36. And the question is to find the area of cross section of the larger. So you are asked to find the area of cross section of the larger prism. Now from the given data, try to find K, the scale factor. I know I have the volume for both the similar shapes, so I'll use that data to find K. And I know that V2 over V1, since it's volume, it's going to be K cube. So K cube being equal to V2 is 2187 over 648. I want to find the value for K, so I'll be taking the cube root of 2187 over 648 and my k is going to be 1.5 now I have my k with me now the question is to find the area for the larger prism A2 so again I know A2 over A1 is going to be k squared so I'll just substitute the data I want to find A2, so A2 over A1 is 36, is going to be 1.5 squared. So rearranging, I have A2 equal to 36 times 1.5 squared, giving me 81. So the area of my larger prism is going to be 81, uh, since it's centimeter square, so my unit will be centimeter square. This is your answer.